how important points are in regard to advancing the next round. And now is the time. If you're going to get those stage points, you need good qualifying effort. So uh, no more talking, no more planning. Now is the time to go lay the lap time down. And so we know now that that 45 of Tyler Reddick is on the clock. Also on the clock, Cindric Dillon, Kozlowski, Briscoe, anybody with a green chip. That means that they are out on the on the track and on the clock. Yeah, and also you see Tyler Reddick. <laughs> that was an easier task than they needed. But yes, I, I like this idea, and I think it seemed to work in practice. Uh, Bubba ran a really quick lap. Yeah, faster than Tyler in practice. Tyler got a little bit wide. Yeah. See if that hurt his lap any. And this time, consistent. And so those first two laps, a 120-92 and a 121-16. Dylan, he also got into the wall. LaJoy had a good lap going. He missed this front, front stretch chicane. He had to come to a stop. You see, he gets in the corner. Just That's a tough braking spot. It just tries to get in there too hot, and the car won't turn. Remember, he started 10th at Watkins Glen, so yeah, and also you see Corey LaJoy uh, uh, over a second off. That runoff that he had, that was a big disadvantage because he had to stay on track, yeah. go all the way around before he could take the green again. So, you know, that was getting, that just did not work well for him. P10 right now, so a good recovery. And Austin Cedric, you know, yes, we think about him being a really good road racer, but this year it just, hasn't been there. They, they just haven't had the speed. Uh, Sonoma, I watched them, you know, run in the back uh, the, most of the day. Uh, they just haven't had the speed that we thought we would see from Austin Cindric on road courses. Well, Rick, here's the other thing. These uh, Cup Series teams getting much smarter about using that alternate start finish line as Kozlowski locks it up coming into the front stretch chicane. If you'll notice, all the teams trying to do just one lap, keep as minimal amount of time on the tires as you can. But Kozlowski, William Byron, teams like that that are playoff drivers, they have no choice. They have to go back out to be able to get, get into the top five. So that's part of the game, too, Jeff, putting as little time on those Goodyear tires as you possibly can. The fastest cat in the alley pretty much all the time, and this is kind of where you set your standards when you look at what you have to do every weekend. Three wins already on the season for Denny Hamlin, and there has been a confidence that we have seen from Denny really since the start of the playoffs. Uh, and it's not a comfort level, but it's, and it's also not overly confident. He just has said, this feels like it's my year. 121.02 for Hamlin. Elliott at a 120.89. Must have been drafting because he was right behind. <laughs> that Time is work. disallowed. <laughs> but I didn't mean to. Yeah. Busher, what a season he has put together for RFK this year. Ryan Blaney coming off the win. He knows he's in the round of eight. Only two that are safe. He'll come to pit road, and it looks like Blaney's. Another one of those guys who's going to start uh, in the teens, maybe even in the low 20s. Be right on the edge of grip in every corner. You saw the back of the car, Christopher Bell right there, moving around some as he tried to go to the throttle. Now you start approaching this back straight chicane. You've got to carry a ton of speed in here. Heavy braking zone. See the car moving around under braking. Now hit these curves just right. Too much curve, it upsets the car. It looked, it looked like a really smooth lap. Yeah, it did. Does that translate into speed? That's what we'll have to see. Faster than, yeah, faster than Elliott. Yeah. Do you anticipate these times being slower after having some laps on the tires? I would think they would be a little slower. And Reddick is also. Bubba Wallace, third. Really good job right there. Yeah. Turn eight. Powered up really well. You can see that. 
See how much he attacks getting into the backstretch chicane here. Oh, he missed it. Oh. Missed it. Oh, oh and, spin. and he's going to spin, and that's what you had mentioned earlier, so that's probably going to affect Ty Gibbs. Well, let's see if he can get off the racetrack. He's sitting dead in the middle of the racetrack. There's a car coming down the backstretch now. Uh, it's, a, it's a gamble. Sometimes it bites you, and this time it, it bit Ty Gibbs. Yeah, it did, but, you know, it's, gosh, I understand what they were trying to do and what they were after, and there was plenty of room in that. It was just unfortunate that it was his teammate, of all things, yeah. uh, that couldn't get his car refired. Celebrating his sixth career pole. You see him out of the car. Tyler Reddick throws the hat on, and Marty's down there with him. Yeah, happy day for everyone at 2311 Racing. Bubba Wallace came over for a big hug. Congratulations on the poll. I was shocked to find out the first road course poll of the year for you. I mean, that's uh, been a re remarkable record on the win side, but the first poll? Yeah, uh, man, Denny's done a really good job this year. Uh, that whole 11 team of really taking it to us and uh, in round two. Just putting down a good lap, but obviously making mistakes. And uh, honestly, today was more of the same thing. Honestly, I got lucky. Um, I really had one of my dirtiest laps I probably had in practice, um, but was able to make up for it in some other areas, and that just credit to a very strong Toyota Camry TRD. Everyone at 2311, um, you know, we work really hard on these road courses, and uh, it's really nice to get the first road course pole of the year and get this uh, Wings Initiative uh, Jordan brand car um, up front where it belongs. You start below the cut line, Tyler, but obviously with the speed, not only in qualifying with the pole, but also the long run speed in the car as well. What's the confidence level you'll end the day tomorrow on the right side of the cut line? Yeah, this is exactly what we need to do. You know, we had a plan and obviously, and it's hard for every part of the plan to go right, but uh, this is what we need to do on Saturday. You know, uh, obviously missed it a little bit on the first lap in practice, but uh, you know, we, we had a good pace for the most part. and. I knew I had to go out and qualify here to, to give us um, some opportunities, some options, right? So we'll see how the race plays out, but um, it's going to be nice to have the track position to start, and um, we'll just see how it goes. Rick, you can just hear the confidence in his voice. They're below the cut line right now, but he's pretty positive they'll be on the right side of it tomorrow afternoon. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports at NBC YouTube channel.